Hey everybody, Brickhouse here, and um, it's been a bad week for Disney. Make that a bad, make, well, I was just going to say a month, but it's been a, just a bad year for Disney. In fact, you can even go back into last year being some bad times for Disney. And here we have just another example of um, why things at Disney are a mess. More specifically, why things at Disney Marvel are a mess. This is from Bounding Into Comics. Marvel reshuffles entire Disney Plus TV schedule. <laughs> Ironheart, Daredevil Born Again, and Wonder Man placed on a definite hiatus. Agatha, Agatha renamed again for a third time. For the upteenth time, Marvel's flailing desperation to write their eponymous cinematic universe's sinking ship, as well as the ongoing WGA SAG after strikes, have led the studio to once again reshuffle their entire slate of Disney Plus productions. The scheduling shakeup was first confirmed on September 1st, courtesy of The Hollywood Reporter. Per the outlet sources, Marvel reportedly undertook this shuffle as part of an effort to make each title an event for fans and audiences. These are titles nobody wants to see. Which itself was born out of the studio's recent realization that spreading out its content is a more prudent strategy. As such, Marvel's 2023 TV schedule currently looks vastly different from their overbloated roadmap unveiled by studio head Kevin Feige at San Diego Comic Con in 2022. Where once 2023 was set to see them release of seven total Disney Plus projects Secret Evasion, Bad, What If, Okay, Loki, Okay, Echo, What, Who, Ironheart, Nah, Agatha, Covenant of Chaos, Meh, X Men 97. I think that's going to be a total train wreck. It's not going to be anything like the X-Men cartoon of the mid to late 90s. The studio will instead end the year having released a drastically reduced slate. As previously confirmed following the recent Secret Invasion debacle, Marvel will air the second season of Loki, which is currently on track to premiere on October 6th. From there, the studio will close out 2023 with the second season of What If? which months after being taken off Marvel's official release schedule has now been given an official debut date by Christmas Day. Originally, Loki was set to be followed by roughly two months later by the premiere of Echo, a Hawkeye spinoff that nobody wants, focused on Alequa Cox's, and I hope I pronounced her name right, titular deaf and disabled heroine. However, the series, which will be the first MCU TV series to have all of its episodes dumped onto Disney Plus at the same time, rather than released on a weekly schedule, has now been pushed back from November 29th to an undetermined date in January 2024. Though not an MCU entry, the animated X-Men 97 has likewise been pushed from its original date. Once aiming for a fall 2023 premiere, the return of the fan favorite mutant team will now take place on an unspecified date early in 2024. So, basically, Disney's saying, or Marvel's saying, hey, we're going to push these back. Nobody cares. Outside of Loki Season 2, and maybe, just maybe, X-Men 97. Nobody cares about Echo. Nobody cares about Ironheart. Nobody cares about Agatha, which is now Agatha Darkhold Diaries. It's so on name number three. Now bearing the new name, Agatha Darkhold Diaries, the Catherine Han-led WandaVision spinoff has been bumped from its hopeful winter 2023 release date to Halloween season of fall 2024. Keep in mind, 
Echo's been done now for more than a year. Death has been done now for more than a year. Ironheart's done been done now for more than a year. I don't know about X Men ninety seven, but I do know those three titles have been done for more than a year. They've been in the can, finished. The last of the originally planned 2023 releases, despite having already been pushed back to next year, Ironheart has also been hit with yet another delay. After having previously been put on indefinite hiatus before being given a rough 2024 release window, the series no one wants has now been put back into limbo due to the aforementioned Hollywood strikes preventing completion of its production. Oh, I guess they had to do some reshoots. To that end, Riri Williams' solo outing is not the only Marvel production to be affected by these strikes. Daredevil Born Again and Wonder Man. Have both. Been put on hold. Wonder Man is another one. I don't think anybody wants to see. Daredevil Born Again is not going to be anywhere near what the Daredevil series was on Netflix. My opinion, he's going to be a neutered Daredevil. Far from the first shakeup of the TV studio's plans or the studio's TV plans, this update comes just several months after Marvel boss Kevin Feige confirmed that in light of the ratings fa failures of Moon Knight, Miss Marvel, and She-Hulk Attorney at Law, the pace at which we're putting out the Disney Plus shows will change so they can each get a chance to shine. You know what they say about polishing a turd? Even though the Mythbusters did prove you can polish a turd? In this case, you can't polish a turd. I think when we're doing about eight projects a year, and again, I said this is going to shift a little bit. They all have to be different, he told Entertainment Weekly in February 2023. They all have to stand apart and stand alone and be different from one another. Disney CEO Bob Iger, who would reiterate the company's commitment to this current this curation strategy during the company's August 9th Q3 2023 earnings call, Speaking to the House of Mouse's forward-looking strategy for their various film studios, Iger assured investors were focused on improving the quality of our films and on better economics. Speaking of which, how much does each one of these series cost? What's the production budget? I'd be curious to see. Not just reducing the number of titles we release, but also the cost per title. So tell me what you guys think. I mean, to me, Disney's a mess right now. And more specifically, Disney Marvel is a mess right now. So comment down below, share your thoughts, share your opinions. While you're at it, please smash that like button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Hit that notification bell to get notified when my content becomes available here on YouTube. And as always, thank you for watching, and I will see you later.